none of us is innocent when it comes to the following. So why try to deny it? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things we all do but won't admit to. Nobody likes to get caught with their bird out like J-Rock did. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at activities, habits, and generally strange behaviors, both good and bad, that we've all engaged in at some point. And yet, despite the accepted knowledge that most people partake in these acts, we choose to completely deny that we would ever do these ourselves. I'm perceiving an apparent change in the way others behave toward me. For example, people abruptly end conversations when I appear. Number 10. Drinking from the Milk Carton Guys, come on. We've evolved from our barbaric caveman ancestry, so whatever happened to basic hygiene? Well, apparently some people just don't care about others. Or the craving for a gulp of milky goodness can be too intense to spare a few extra seconds to pour it into a glass. So, unless you're living all by your lonesome, odds are that a family member or a roommate is gonna need to use that same carton at some point after you. Hey Josh, uh, grab me a glass of milk. They don't have any milk, but I can get you some milk. Also, drinking from the carton is a mess waiting to happen, as the milk tends to drip over the side and run down your face right onto the floor. Get your calcium, keep those bones healthy, but don't be a pig while doing so. Milk was a bad choice. Number nine, talking behind someone's back. Hey, why were you talking to Janice Ian? I don't know, I mean, she's so weird. She just, you know, came up to me and started talking to me about crack. <laughs> With approximately 7 billion human beings living on planet Earth all at once, chances are high that we'll inevitably meet someone who just rubs us the wrong way. And we may not even be able to pinpoint why. Guess what, though? Not liking someone isn't that weird. Everyone has that person who gets under their skin. Because Rocco is an idiot. Well, it doesn't matter, because... He's thoughtless, stupid, mean... Look, Nitz, I'm not going to lie. And sexist and racist and a sloppy drunk. While we understand why we may feel like we have the right to walk up to someone and say, hey, by the way, I cannot stand you, we usually instead opt for the even nastier route of spreading cruel, harsh, and even untrue statements about said person. Yeah, yeah, that person is so bad. But are we really acting much better by doing this? You're talking about the same Dick Jones? Hey, he's old, we're young. And that's life. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, not washing our hands after going to the bathroom. Ooh! No, Megan. No, no. Look away, <laughs> Megan. No, look away. Oh. <laughs> Returning back to this notion of basic hygienic principles, what's so difficult about taking a few steps from the toilet over to a sink, splashing some water and soap onto your hands, and washing all the nasty germs away? Not to sound like your mother here, but it's for your own good, just as much as it's for those around you. Wash your hands, you can do it, you know that you can. Do you really need to be reminded that bathrooms are purposely designed for people to rid their bowels of our bodily waste? Aren't you grossed out by that? Well, you should be. So that's all the more reason to wash your hands after doing your business. Number seven, pretending we're texting. Where the hell's my phone? It's right over there, silly. What the hell is this piece of crap? Is modern society becoming brainwashed by our little cellular devices? Are we too reliant on them? Well, if you take into consideration how people use cell phones for a sense of security, then all signs point to yes. Are you waiting for your pals to show up for a gathering at a bar or restaurant? Whip out your phone and pretend you're texting so you don't come off as an antisocial weirdo. I'm gonna pretend someone texted me. Bloop. Did you walk in the completely wrong direction? Take out your phone and pretend you're sending a text as an excuse to stop and spin yourself around in the opposite direction. Are we all really that insecure and so easily embarrassed nowadays that we think we have to look busy 24-7? Oh no, finish your tweet. It's not, that's fine, just give us a second. Number six, farting. <laughs> Goodness. If you're a human being and eat foods to stay alive, which we'll go out on a limb and say is an accurate description of all seven billion of you out there, odds are you will fart numerous times during your lifetime. Gas builds up in your gut and it's better out than in, so you need to let it out. <laughs> oh, somebody's stepping a duck. <laughs> what is there to be ashamed of? 
If anything, the loud noise it can make can be used for humor, and everyone can share a laugh for this absurd aspect of life. Right? Use it. Use your false tune. Of course. Number 5. Stalking someone's social media profile Keeping a close eye on your siblings? Have a crush on a classmate? Looking for potential blackmail material to save up for future reference? Whatever the reason may be, nearly all of us have dug into someone's social media profile at some point. We are curious creatures after all, and want to learn all we can about a subject that interests us. Nowadays, with people sharing their entire lives on the World Wide Web, information about each and every one of us is readily available. Are you watching me? Scott, I've been watching you for a while. Whether our urge to figure out all there is to know about someone is triggered by loving adoration or bitter hatred, we don't seem to hesitate for a second when it comes to channeling our inner detective skills. She's the girl on your computer. Yeah, he's got you on his computer. Number four, saying you have plans when you don't. And uh, I've got this thing I gotta do, so I'll be seeing you. Even though human beings are typically described as very social creatures, we all have moments where we just want to be all by our lonesome. With jobs, school, and the various other tasks that make up our busy lifestyles, the stress of it all can leave us exhausted and wanting a moment or two to ourselves. So what's so hard about admitting that? Michael, Max is coming to dinner. I'd like you to meet him. I can't. I have plans. People will ask us to go out and see a movie or hit a bar, and although we're invited, we're not technically obliged to go. They're your friends. It's not like they'll be furious with you for saying you aren't up for it. So just be honest, because it's just going to be very awkward if you get caught in your lie. Number 3. Missing a text uh, well, didn't you, didn't you get my text? You know, the thing about instant messaging is that it's instant. With cell phones in everyone's pockets nowadays, it's much harder to get away with lies. With texting, Facebook Messenger, and so many other forms of communication, it's practically impossible to not keep tabs on someone. We're always on the grid. So with that in mind, why do so many of us bother trying to pretend like we didn't get the memo? I'll put you on hold. I'd like to watch the line blink. It's not like the message will disappear or something and you'll need to check your phone at some point. So logically, you'll also see the text at some point. Heck, some apps even have a feature that lets the sender know if the recipient has seen the message or not. Busted. You did get my text, right? What? Text? What? Number two, masturbating. Were you masturbating? Everyone has urges. Some people also have funky, freaky fetish fantasies floating around in their minds. And then there are times when you really want to boogie and find yourself without a dance partner. And that is when one resorts to ulterior methods to relieve pent-up sexual frustrations. When I f***ing jack off long enough, I end up jizzing, dude. I'm assuming the same shit works for you. We all know if you're caught in the act while watching the scrambly channels or flipping through Glamour magazine for that extra kick, it's pretty much DEFCON 1 on the embarrassment scale. But in solitude and with privacy, there's no real need to feel ashamed. The person you're hiding the truth from may have performed self-pleasure not long before you did. Yet another reason to always wash your hands. I'm oh gonna... Sorry. Get out! I'll come back later. Get out! Number one, checking people out. Ooh, I'd love to have it off with her. We'll put it to you this way. The planet didn't become this populated because people popped out of the ground. Attraction is just a regular part of human life and our mating process. It's literally hardwired into our biology to look around and notice those who are most appealing to us. Think about it. You're gazing at a hot boy or girl from across the room, and because of that, you decide to strike up a conversation. Your ass is awesome. We understand that it's a part of social dynamics that we can't help but stare at what and who we find attractive. So then why deny it when we're called out on it? It's just something that cannot be helped. So why make a big deal over something so normal? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.